hi again. I'm sorry, uh, it's my internet. My internet is very bad right now. It's really, really bad. It's not my laptop, it's my internet. I apologize. Do you hear me, Ms. Kuchan? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for letting me know. Eso no, no me carga micro, aquí me carga esta, esta, esta cosa de, de, de Chrome, no me carga. Dice que no, hay, no tengo internet disponible. Yes. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It usually happens. Technology is not perfect. Yeah, Google, Google Chrome is, is frozen. No lo puedo usar, está congelado. It's okay, it's okay. We can, we can start, no problem, we can start. Podemos dejar lo que, que, que abra, okay. Mientras seguimos. Let me open the presentation. What is that? What is that? The first Let me share the presentation with you all. I'm sharing the presentation with you guys. Okay, uh, I think that you can see the presentation. Can you see the presentation? I can see the presentation. You can't or you can? Yes? Oh, or that. Can see the presentation. It's still, it's still loading, okay? It's still loading. Nothing, I don't see anything. Okay. Yes. We got it, we got it. Do you see it now? Guys? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, look, uh, this is the second class. The second class, I changed this one. It's a module number six now. All right. It's the second class, and we're going to start the class with this question. What do you remember about Ken? Guys, what do you remember about Ken? Tell me, tell me. No, oh, tell me. What do you remember about Ken? I'm we sorry. We can use it to speak about abilities and inabilities. Okay, we can use it to talk about or to mention or to speak about abilities and disabilities. 
All right. Yes. Anybody else? Do you remember anything different or uh, another detail about Ken? Hello? Uh, it's also used to describe um, prohibitions. Okay. It's also used to describe prohibition, you're saying. All right, all right. Yes. Okay, very good. Uh, yes. Actually, can has many definitions. Many definitions or um, many ways in which we can use it. Uh, yesterday, we were talking about abilities and disabilities. In different contexts, we can use can for permission, for prohibition, for request, for possibilities, for more uh, uses that we haven't even mentioned. Okay. Yes. Let's continue here. Look, I got some examples here. It's a review of, of uh, the topic that we were studying yesterday. Okay. Here. Can for abilities. Can is a modal verb that helps express abilities you have learned or acquired in your lifetime. I got some examples here. Well, first, let's take a look. Let's take a look at this. We start the sentence with a subject. Okay. Use can. The students can. Look. Here. It's here. Verb in the base form, speak. English is the complement. The students can speak English. Los alumnos pueden hablar inglés. Okay? Yes. Ability. Carlos Cotto can use spreadsheets. Carlos Cotto can use spreadsheets. Carlos puede usar las hojas de cálculo. Right? Ability, ability. Carla, sorry. Multiply by three. Carla can work. Carla, it is okay. It's a Carla can work under pressure. Pressure is, I misspelled it. Okay, there you go. It's in the chat. Pressure, pressure. Pressure, that's what it is. Okay, so it says Carla can work under pressure, meaning Carla puede trabajar bajo Presión. Okay. Carla puede trabajar bajo presión. Yes. Okay. And uh, the last example, Abel can make the most delicious tacos. Abel can make the most delicious tacos. Abel puede hacer los tacos más deliciosos. Okay. This is for abilities. Okay. Things that we can do. Look. Can for inabilities, in this case, is in the negative form. Uh, let's read. Can is a modal verb that helps express inabilities. Inabilities are those activities that you are not capable of doing. Okay? Las inabilidades son esas actividades que no, pueden, que no somos capaces de hacer. Okay? That's inability. The same subject, we got can over here, drive, and the complement is a truck. Melanie can't drive a truck. No puede manejar un camión. Melanie no puede manejar un camión. Mario can't repair irons. Mario can't repair irons. 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 Planchas, okay? Irons. Mario no puede reparar planchas. Iron in a different context is the, the, the material. Okay. También iron es hierro. Okay. En este caso no es hierro. En este caso es una plancha. Planchas. Okay. Yes. One more example. Look. Uh, Victor can't speak in public. Public. Victor can't speak in public. Victor no puede hablar en público. Okay. It's an example, all right? It's an example. Now, before we continue, do you have any questions?
Do you have any questions? Okay, we're good. And let's continue with the other slide over here. It's this one. This one, we didn't do it yesterday. I mean, we didn't practice it like in the speaking way. Speaking activity, th think about one thing you can do and one thing you cannot do. Just give me one. Guys, give me one sentence. Your sentence can be about an ability or it can be about an inability. Puede ser una habilidad o una inhabilidad, okay? The point is to give an example. People, a volunteer. Don't worry, everybody is going to participate. Hay tiempo, tenemos tiempo de sobra. Don't worry. Okay, guys, a volunteer. I can do it. Okay, give me one. Um, I can eat lots of food and I can't do exercise. Okay, you can eat lots of food and you cannot exercise. All right. That's <laughs> yeah. I think we cannot exercise. Like nobody <laughs> can exercise. No, no. We don't have time. Okay, excellent, Daniela. Thank you very much. Another volunteer? Just give me an example, people. Don't worry. Don't worry. If you make a mistake, I'm here to help you correct that mistake. Mm -hmm. Guys? Hi. Yes. Yes, Mario. Uh, I can play chess. Okay. I I can swim in the ocean. Okay. All right. All right. That's fantastic. That's good. That's good. Excellent, Mario. Thank you very much for your examples. Let's continue. Guys, continue. Guys, hello. Hello. Okay, Cecia, go ahead. Thank you. I can speak English very well. <laughs> okay. You can or you can't? Can't. I can't speak English very well. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. That's okay. The example is fine. Excellent. Let's continue. Another person. Teacher? Yes, Hello? go ahead. Excellent. I can't drown. You can't, sorry? Drown, drown the water. Draw, please. I can't draw. Okay, you can't. Oh, that's, that's, that's sad. <laughs> yes. Okay, very good, Dene. Thank you, thank you. Let's continue, guys. Continue. Hello, Carlos sure. Alberto. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Yes, Carlos. Carlos Cotto. Yes. I can ride the cycling. I can ride the cycling. The what? Sorry. I can ride the bicycle. A ah, bicycle. Ride. Ride. Ah, I can't ride a bicycle. Bicycle, right? Bicycle. Okay, okay. Excellent. Good example. Good example. Thank you, Carlos. Guys, continue. Continue, continue. I can drive a motorcycle. I can ride a motorcycle. Right, in the chat. I can't ride a motorcycle. Okay. Okay. Give me a moment here, people. I think it's it's uh hopefully it is. Let me see if I can take attendance now. It 
it says that I have to reload. Let me close Google. I closed it. Okay, guys. Let's continue with examples, okay? Let's continue with examples. Go ahead, continue. I'm listening, I'm listening. Chica, chica y cookie, cookies. Repeat. Cookies. Chica y cookies. Chicken eat cookies. Yes. Okay, okay. Thank you, Francisco, for your example. Guys, let's continue. Let's continue. Hazel, hello, Christina. We're missing people here. Go ahead. Elizabeth, hello. Marilyn. Victor, hello, Julissa. Hello. Mm -hmm. Give me your example. Lo siento, ejemplo de que no escuché de qué ejemplo porque estoy lavando Ken. trastes ahorita, pero digan. Ken. 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 Ah, ok. Um, ¿Cómo se dice tinte de, de como de teñir? Dye. Dye. Entonces, I can dye with um, natural color. For example, with, um, ¿cómo se dice hojas? Uh, well, what kind? ¿Qué tipo de hoja? De árboles. No, leaves. ¿Cómo? Leaves. Leave. Yes, in the chat. Ah, leaf, leaf. Mm. Okay, for example, yeah, with leaf, leaf. Okay, okay, and I kind of understand that. Okay, let's continue, guys. Let's continue. I can't drive a car. Okay, I can't drive a car. All right, all right, all right. Guys, continue, continue. Hello. The ones that are um, example. Example. Yes. You you can't speak Germany. German. German. Oh German. Sorry. Yes. Okay. You can't speak German. The example is good. Thank you very much for that. Yes. Anybody else is missing? I think he's ready now. <laughs> okay, let me take attendance. I think he's ready now. It took 20, 28 minutes to be ready. Can you believe that? That's a lot of time. Okay, let me see Abel Edenilson Salazar Melara. No. Abigail Elizabeth Flores Hernandez. Hi, teacher. Hello, thank you very much. 
Palmore, Alexander Marroquín Gómez. No. Carlos Emilio Coto Dueñas. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you, Carlos. Carlos Humberto, Humberto Estrada Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Cecia Noemí Ramos Rivas. Present teacher. Hello, Cecia. Thank you very much. Francisco Ernesto Acuña Rivera. Present teacher. Francisco, thank you very much. Hazel Vanessa Menjiva Rodríguez. Yulisa Yamilet Villalta Villalta. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you. Carla Daniela Molina Cruz. Present. Present? Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me continue here with uh, Carla Ivania Anaya. Carla Lorena Mendoza. I'm here. Thank you very much. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Perez. Present. Hello, good evening. Mario Ernesto Ramirez Lopez. Present. Yes, Lopez Ramirez. Yes, exactly. Yes, yes, Lopez Ramirez. I'm sorry. Let me see if I can leave it permanently. Permanently today. Okay. Melanie Alexander Martinez Santos. Melissa Esther Orellana Rivas. Present teacher. Yes. Mirde Yanez Ángel de Castro. Present teacher. Roberto Emilio González Cruz. Present teacher. Uh, yes. Santos Cristina Cerritos de Ruiz. And Victor Noé Bonilla Portillo. Present. Yes, let me see somebody say something. Okay. Hey, say. Okay. Excellent. Okay, guys, let's continue. Let's continue. I'm sorry. I apologize. This this is very bad, very bad. Okay. Go to your book on page number 11. On page number 11, you're going to see this. I am sharing the book with you guys in this moment. Please confirm that you are seeing the book. Hello, teacher. Hello. It's okay. Don't worry. Hello. 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 I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. Yes, I understand. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, it's fine. Okay, guys. Here. Continuamos. We continue. We continue with unit number one. Unit number one, it's about job listings, okay? Today it says here, I will be able to talk about benefits I would or could bring to a company. Benefits I could, excuse me, I would or could bring to a company. What is benefit, people? Benefit. Beneficios. Las prestaciones que da una empresa yes. a un trabajador. It's good things, good things that the company gets. Okay. Good things that the company gets. That's what it is. Yes. Okay. Very good. There are two questions here to start off. It's in the first part. Let's start. We got the first question. What can, sorry, can you name three ways? Can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? Guys, 
Can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? Yes. Hello. Directly then. I'm going to uh, choose a person directly. Hello? Contribuir en la misión de las compañías. Contribuir en la misión de las compañías. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, what is your answer? Okay, no, then she's not there. All right, let me see with Roberto Emilio Gonzalez. What is your answer to the first question, Roberto? Uh, to be one of the best company a uh, nivel nacional? Nationally. Nationally. Mm -hmm. It's just three ways there, three. Yeah. <laughs> A ver, porque me la pongo tan difícil. <risa> ok, vamos a ver. Mm. Create, val, val, create values in the, in the... Okay, we're going to give you some time to think, Roberto. <laughs> it's okay, okay. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> Victor, can you help us, Victor? Victor, can you name three ways, three ways you contribute to the company's mission? Um, or maybe you can mention only one. One is fine. Only one. Okay. Yes. Um, could be could be my experience. My experience. Experience, experience, experience. Okay. Your experience, okay, it counts, it counts. All right, excellent, thank you very much, Victor. Let me see another person here. What do you think about this, Esia? Um, uh, great values, uh, como how I, uh, how I talk to the customers. Mm -hmm. Because we are the face of the of the okay, company of the company. Of the company, yes. Yeah. That's why you are called. We have to be polite and respectful. Okay. All right. That's my That's amazing. Amazing. Thank you very much for that. Let me see, Mario. What do you think, Mario? Can you name one uh, way you contribute to the contribute to the company's mission? Mario, hello. Okay, Mario is not there. Carlos Humberto, can you help us? Yes. I... Just mention only one. Oh, no, the company's mission and Um, it's okay it's okay but what do you think what do you think uh you do that benefits the company oh perme <laughs> Uh, podría ser o 
ensuring that customers have technology at their fingertips. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. In, in my company, uh, as I sell uh, cell phones and accessories. You sell you sell cell phones and accessories. Yes. Okay. Okay. I understand. I understand. Thank you very much, Carlos, for that. Uh, Mr. Cotto, what do you think about this one? Teacher, repeat, please. What can be what what do you think you do in the company that benefits the company? Or the question here, what what is one thing, what is one thing you do that contributes to the company's mission? Okay. Um, I contribute uh, creating housing design. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. All right. All right. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yes. Okay. Now we're going to we're going to uh, continue. Carlos, excellent. Uh, let me see. Francisco Acuña, can you please help us with this one? Okay, teacher. Uh, number one, we work to be very transparent. Repeat. Two. We work to be very transparent. Oh, okay. Okay. You you try to Two. be transparent. All right. Or we, we try. All right. Excellent. Uh, we favor autonomy and responsibility. Okay. All right. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Number three. Number three. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. That all best assets is a mating companion. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you very much, Francisco, for, for your participation. Let's continue with the second question. Look at the second question, people. What specific benefits do you provide to your company? It's similar to the previous question. Basically, it's the same thing. What specific benefits do you provide to your company? Let's skip that one. Part number two, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with one of your classmates. Okay, people, listen to me or listen to the pronunciation. If you have questions about the vocabulary or expressions, let me know. Okay, vamos a leerlo. Okay. Al final, si hay preguntas de vocabulario o alguna oración o frase completa, te aviso. Let me read. Third. How comfortable do you feel working in the working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. <coughs> I'm sorry. A great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look. Can you bring to this company as an employee? Wait, can you bring to this company as an employee? Looks kind of weird. Okay, I would, I would be a great, great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great, yes. And because of my experience as a manager, I could I could be of great help in large projects. Okay. Now, questions about the vocabulary, guys. Preguntas sobre el vocabulario o la pronunciación. A great asset. Asset. Guys, do you know what asset is? Do you have any ideas? Anybody? Alguien que sepa? 
activos. Mm, yes. In accounting, in accounting activos. Okay. In this case, in this case, it can be taken as herramienta o recurso. Okay. Sería de, sería una gran herramienta o sería un gran recurso. Okay. Sí. También se usa at, asset en otro, en otro contexto como activos, como lo dijo, no sé quién lo dijo, creo que fue Mario. Activos en contabilidad. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Asset. More questions. Más preguntas. No, ¿Me preguntas? ¿No más preguntas? Confortable. Confortable. Oh. ¿Qué significa cómodo en español? Cómodo. Pronunciación. No, no, no. Sí, como, como, ajá, como se pronuncia. Pronunciación es comf, comf, comfortable. 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 Comf. No es comfortable, oh. confortable, ok. O comfortable. He escuchado que se utilicen comfortable, que dicen con, comfortable, <coughs> but no, it's comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. Okay. Okay, excellent, excellent. Más preguntas? No? Okay. Let's continue here. We're going to continue practicing here the conversation but I'm going to choose two people. I'm going to choose two people. Let me choose them right now. Yesterday, we practiced the conversation individually or in the small groups. Today, we're not going to do that because, you know, it's, it, it might get a little boring. Let's see. Uh, help us, Carla Lorena and Carlos Humberto. Can you please read the conversation? Okay. Okay, comienzo. Okay, comienzo yo. Right. Okay. Here it's, how comfortable do you feel working in the Salas area? Area. Pretty comfortable. Right. Pretty, pretty, pretty comfortable. So with my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee. I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes. And because of my experience as a manage, manager, and I Called me to great help in large projects. All right, excellent. I just understood the question. Acabo de entender la pregunta esa que le comenté que estaba un poco rara. La acabo de entender. Usamos what al principio de la pregunta. Antes de quién se usa el what. Okay, I'm pretty sure about, I'm sorry. I am sure about that. Look. What can you bring? ¿Qué puedes traer? Okay. What can you bring to the company as an employee? ¿O qué puedes ofrecer a la compañía como un empleado? Okay. Entonces usaríamos what antes, antes del quién. Oh, Esto no es un la pregunta, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Ningún sentido, más bien. Ok. Thank you for, thank you for participating, Carlos and Lorena. We're going to continue uh, with... Uh, let me see. Palmore, hello. Hello, teacher. And Roberto, Emilio, yes. Okay. You guys. Uh, Go ahead. You comienzo. <clears throat> Here, how comfortable do you feel working in this artist area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say. This will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as employee? I will be a great asset in the company because it's my, of my 
my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes. And because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay, I could be of great help in large projects. Thank you, Roberto and uh, and Balmore for your participation. Let's continue with, let me see, Julissa, can you help us? And Janet. Wait, Julissa, are you there? Yes. Yes, teacher. She was saying it, Janet. Her, how comfortable do you feel working in the South area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, what do you bring to this company as an employer? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay, I could be of great help in large projects. Thank you, Julissa and Janeth for your participation. We are going to continue with Victor. Victor, can you help us? And Mario. Okay. Mario Ernesto, yes. Comienzo. Here, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable. See, see, with my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It's so great. Yes. Uh, because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large, large projects. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much, Mario and Victor, for your participation. Let's continue here, down here with Marilyn. Can you participate right now? She's not there. Okay, Elizabeth, what about you and Melissa? Okay, teacher. Melissa is there? Oh, no, she's not available. I apologize. Okay, Cecia. Hello. Okay, go. <clears throat> okay. Eh, empiezo yo. Está bien. Girl, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? For with Koreans, I can say it would be a opportunity. I am sure about that. Lud, what can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as, as a manager, I could, could be a great help in large projects. Okay, in large projects. Okay, thank you, thank you for your participation. Uh, am I missing a person? I'm sorry, I, I don't remember. Francisco and uh, Daniela, can you practice? Yeah, we can do it. Francisco, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh. Empiezo. Empiezo yo, sí. Correct. Okay. 
scared. How comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Really comfortable chair with me experience. I can say this world is a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and uh, because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much for your participation. People, very good, very good. Now, everybody individually, we're going to answer the questions in part number three. Usually the questions in part number three are about part number two. And I think this is the same. I'm sorry, teacher. Hi. Y a mí no me menciona para participar. Okay, yes. Uh, it was you, and I don't know who else. Sí, sí, la, la, la mencioné. Y a mí sí. No me respondí. Y a mí tampoco. Y a mí tampoco. Y a mí tampoco. Yes. Okay. Entonces, está en problema. Démosle. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. Motivate. Okay, empiezo ya entonces. Yes. Okay. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in this sales area? Microphone, Cristina. Microphone, microphone. Perdón, dice, está hablando para mí sola. Very comfort, comfortable feel with me, my. I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am. Ah, perdón. Sí, usted, chica. Okay. I'm sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as employee? I will be, I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes. And because of my experience as a manager, I will be Austria head in large projects. Okay, all right, Christina, and uh, thank, you, thank you, thank you guys for and don't no, thank you for letting me know. Okay, yes, okay, now excellent, guys, excellent, excellent. Let's continue with part number three. Part number three, pair work. Okay, it says pair work, but no, we're going to do it individually. Discuss the answers to the questions below. What will be some benefits of having Kurt in the company? Okay, people, go ahead. And question number two, do you consider that experience is important? Why? Let me give you two minutes or three, three minutes to finish these two questions. Okay. Respondemos las preguntas que están acá. Ok, les daré tres minutos para hacerlo. Tres minutos. Tres minutos. Démosle. Let's do this. Let's do this. Something's happening to me.
Guys, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's start. Uh, let me see the first one. Balmore, what would be some benefits of having Kurt in the company? Teacher, <clears throat> teacher, una consulta. Eh, Kurt es falda. Ahí se no entendí esa. Sorry, no, no, no. Kurt es una persona. <clears throat> Acá está. Uh, no, no he terminado, teacher. Okay, no problem, no problem. It's okay, it's okay. Let me see. Uh, no. mm. Elizabeth, what about you? Thank you, thank you, Carlos. Excellent. Thank you for the uh, help. Yes. Elizabeth Hernandez? Continue here with another person, <laughs> Carla Lorena. The first question, Carla. Teacher, sorry, estoy atendiendo las cosas del trabajo. No lo he hecho, teacher. Okay. Ya okay. lo voy a hacer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, okay, no, no problem, no problem. Janet, you are our savior. <laughs> Sálvenos. <laughs> no, teacher, no lo he hecho. Okay. Sorry. It's okay, it's okay. No problem. Marilyn Alejandra, what about you? Did you finish? No, she's not there. Okay. Let me see. Victor, what about you, Victor? Yeah, um, yes. Okay. The first question. Yes, the first question, yes. Uh, his experience in the construction industry and experience as a manager. Okay, all right, all right. Yes, yes, thank you very much, Victor, for that. The second question is for everybody, okay? The second question is for everybody. In this one, you don't have to be taking notes. The question just, it's your opinion. Do you think, do you consider that experience is important? It's its quite uh, easy to, to understand this question. Let me start by asking, uh, let me, Mario Ernesto, do you consider that experience is important? Yes, it's very important. Why? Uh, because uh, the conocimiento. Knowledge. Knowledge, uh, skill that are not acquired in the academic world, but must be learned with the practicing profession. Okay, okay, look in the, in the chat, knowledge, right? Knowledge, knowledge, conocimiento. All right, thank you, thank you. Let me hear more people. Uh, what do you think about this, Humberto? Do you consider, Carlos Humberto, yes. Do you consider that experience is important? Yes, teacher. Can you tell us why? Or can you explain uh, why? Okay, the experience matters a lot as we know more areas and more procedures as well as multitasking. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, Carlos Humberto, for your participation. One more person and we continue with the next part. Let me see, a volunteer. A volunteer, guys. Teacher, teacher. Um, yes. practice, uh, practice help you make assertive decision. Can you please repeat? 
uh, <clears throat> practice help you make assertive decision. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, is there anybody else that would like to add something or anything? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. I think experience is important, but um, sometimes when we are young and looking for a first job, uh, we don't have experience. So, um, a part of uh, the human resources sometimes can, um, how do you say, hiring? can hire um, young people. Mm -hmm. Pero sí es, es una decisión bien difícil, ¿no? porque no tiene cómo constar que le va a servir. Exactly, exactly. Entonces, yes. in that case, um, we have to, um, ¿cómo se dice? Dar una buena impresión. Ok, have a good, a good first impression. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, yes. Well, people, I'm working in this company. It's called Academia Europea, right? I work there in the afternoons. Uh, the first time I went to this company to ask for a job or to ask for a position, I didn't, I did not have any experience. And they hired, they hired me is with no experience and look it's been one two three how many years one two three four five six almost seven seven years i'm still working in the company <laughs> okay with no experience and now yeah. i have a lot of experience i feel you yes. people sometimes um, be afraid to hire new people without exactly. experience and these new people, they have they have a, a potential or are, they are good prospects. Yeah. But you know, in, in many companies, what's important is the experience. Okay, excellent. Enough with that. Let's continue down here with part number four. It's the grammar part. It's not really grammar. It's just an expression that we use uh, very constantly how to use would be, would be, and could be. Como usar el would be y el could be. En el would no se pronuncia la L, ok, ni tampoco la O. Solo es la W, U, D, sería would, would. Entonces la O y la L son silenciosas, no se, pueden, no se pronuncian, ok. Would. El caso con could es el mismo, could. La O y la L son silenciosas. Se pronuncian could. Okay, so how to use would, would be, and could be. How do you say would be in Spanish, people? Sería. Sorry? Sería. Yes, sería, exactly, exactly, yes. You are completely right. What about could be? Podría. Podría ser. Again, okay. yes. Would be, would be, sería. Could be, podría ser. All right, teacher. podría ser. Teacher. Yes. ¿Cómo decimos en inglés eh, la pleca que separa ambas palabras? Oh, slash. Slash. Where, ¿Dónde está en la compu? <laughs> Aquí de número 7. <laughs> Ahí está en el chat. Slash. Así como el guitarrista de Guns N' Roses, Slash. Thank you. Okay, very good. Let's continue, guys. And uh, I was going to show you this. We were here. I just want to show you some expressions. Solo quiero mostrar unas, unas expresiones que podemos usar con el could be y el would be. Es muy sencillo, el would be sería y el could be pues, podría ser, ¿ok? That's how they go. Look, how to use would be and could be. Deme un segundo. Me pasaron con los oídos. I don't know. I 
I think is stressed. One of my ears is getting blocked. Okay, we're going to continue here and look. <clears throat> These are the expressions. These are the expressions. Could be and would be. We use them. We use them to give the impression of possibility in the future. Look at it. We use them to give the impression of possibility in the future. Lo usamos ambos, okay, para dar la impresión de posibilidad en el futuro. Okay. Para eso usamos el could be y el would be. Okay. Look, aquí están las... Uh, could be or would be of great. Okay. Podría ser de gran o sería de gran. Okay. Y luego el contexto, right? Uh, could be an amazing, would be an amazing, podría ser un increíble o una increíble, o sería una increíble o un increíble. Then we have could be the perfect, would be the perfect, could be the suitable, would be the suitable. ¿Qué es suitable? Do you know? Suitable. No saben que es suitable, ¿no? Actually, I forgot it, teacher. I'm sorry? I don't remember very well. Um, adecuado. Adecuado, adecuada. Okay. Yes. Suitable. Uh, could be the most capable, would be the most capable. Uh, could be the missing element, would be the missing element, could be a great, would be of, sorry, would be a great, could be beneficial, would be beneficial, could be use, profitable, sorry, would be profitable, could be useful, would be useful, could be the worst, would be the worst, could be the best and would be the best. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Okay, ask me. What's the meaning of profitable? Profitable and beneficial are synonyms. Okay. Beneficial. And the most capable? Uh, the most capable, el más capaz. Capable. 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 Thank you. Podría ser el más capaz o sería el más capaz. More questions? No? Okay. Let's take a look at examples. The intern, okay, el interino, the intern could be the most capable for the position. Okay. Podría ser, dice, el más capaz para el trabajo. Okay. Yes. Abel, no estuvo Abel, no está Abel, creo, ese día, no está Abel. No, no está. Okay, look. Abel would be the perfect candidate for the vacancy. Abel sería el candidato perfecto para el espacio que tenemos disponible. Candidate. Ok. Candidato se dice candidate. No, no es candidate. Ok. Es candidate. Candidate. All right. Yes. Another example. Mauricio could be the missing piece to help us organize the warehouse. Mauricio podría ser la pieza restante o faltante. Perdón, faltante. Uh, Mauricio podría ser la pieza faltante para ayudarnos a organizar el, el almacén. Warehouse, almacén. Warehouse, warehouse. Increasing sales internationally would be more profitable for the company. Incrementar las ventas uh, en todo el mundo podría, bueno, sería más beneficioso para la compañía. 
Marcos will be of much of much help in the IT department. Okay. Yes, Marcos sería de mucha ayuda en el departamento de tecnología. Okay. Information technology. Yes. Okay. Now, do you have any questions? Preguntas. Do you have any questions about would be and could be? No? I don't. Okay, you don't. That's okay. That's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fantastic. Now, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, it's time. It's time for you guys to produce or, yeah, to produce an example. Pueden usar cualquier expresión que está ahí, okay? Y en cualquier contexto. Podemos usarla o, o decir el ejemplo en cualquier contexto, okay? Así que tomemos el could be o el would be, cualquiera de los dos, el could be or would be, y formemos una oración, okay? Puede ser afirmativa o negativa, no hay ningún problema, okay? I'm going to give you three minutes. Me daré tres minutos para poder hacer ese ejemplo. Only one. Yo tengo la milla, ¿ya? Ok. Excelente, excelente. Mario could, could be the worst student in this course. <laughs> ok, but, but it, it's not possible, ok. <laughs> ok, good example, Mario. Excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. Solo una y vamos a hacer. Mm -hmm. Yo tengo una. Ok. George will be of great help in the house. Ok. <laughs> Excellent. Good example. <laughs> George could be of great help in the house. Ok. Yes. In my house too. Bring George, please. Tráigalo para acá. <laughs> ok. Ok. Excellent. People, continue. Ok. If you finish... Go ahead, share the example. If you haven't finished, don't worry, okay? Don't worry. I have an example. Okay, perfect. Okay, it's, my boss is the most capable to talk with Chinese provider. Okay, okay. Excellent example. Very good, very good, Carlos. Excellent. Thank you very much for that. Let's continue, guys. If you are ready, share the example. I'm ready, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Bringing the correct fabrics before each season could be profitable for increasing sales. Come again, please. Bringing the correct fabrics before each season could be profitable for increasing sales. Okay. All right. All right. That's good. That's good. Thank you for the example, Daniela. Okay. Let's continue. Let's continue. Yes. Okay. Ready? Okay. I couldn't be late for work. Repeat, please. Okay. I couldn't be late for work. 
I couldn't be late for work. Okay. Yes. All right, all right. Although it sounds kind of weird though. But it's okay. Thank you very much for your example. Guys, continue. If you have more examples, go ahead, share them with us. Guys? Yeah, teacher. Teacher. Are you ready, Carla? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Carla would be the missing element in the management. Okay. Ah, you, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mauricio would be the best president of El Salvador. There you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see. Francisco. Yes, Francisco. Okay, teacher. Um... She could be back by noon. Repeat, please. She could be back by noon. Could be, I'm sorry. Back by noon. Ella podría regresar al mediodía. Si no se la escucha muy bien. <laughs> if you want, if you want, Francisco, you can you can send the example to the chat, and I will read it there. Okay. 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 People, let's continue. Thank you, Francisco. Anybody? All the oh. better if you as to the mat. Repeat, please. It will be better if you study math. It could be difficult. Better if you study math. Better. Teacher, you said teacher? <coughs> better. I, I don't understand that, that one, Marmore. Let me go to the chat. Oh, yes, yes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, Francisco, she, she could be back by noon, by noon. It will be better, better, Balmore, better. It will be better, better if you study, if you study math. Okay, excellent, let's continue, guys. More examples, go ahead. I'm ready, teacher. Oh, okay, excellent. She will be the perfect supervisor in the human resource area. In the human resources. Resources area. Area, okay. Okay, excellent, Lisa. Very good example. Let's continue. More examples, people. Um, I don't could be the most capable for teach. English? Repeat, please. Okay. Um, I don't could be the most capable for teach English. To teach English, right? To teach. To or for? To teach. But you say, uh, I couldn't. I could not be. I could not be. I could not be, all right. Guys, let's continue, let's continue. Hello. Hello. Um, practice English every day could be a great idea to be more fluent. Okay, practicing English every day, practicing. Practicing, okay. You can say practicing or to practice, okay? Practicing okay. English every day Thanks. could be a good idea for fluency, you said, I think. Yeah. Okay, Cecia, excellent. Thank you very much. Let's continue. I know there are people missing, so guys, go ahead. Teacher. Oh, Carlos, yes, go ahead. 
my partner could be the most capable if he planned the work. Repeat, please. If he planned. My partner could be uh -huh. the most capable is capable 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 is he capable, capable. Mm -hmm. exactly he planned the work if he planned 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 the okay. work planned the work okay guys let's continue Hello, yes. Hello, uh, my friend will be great to be part of the marketing team. Can you repeat again, Carla? Okay, my friend will be great to be part of the marketing team. Excellent, good example. Fantastic, yes, yes. Let's continue. Let's continue. Guys, you know, you know. <laughs> no, we're good. We finish. Marilyn, hello. Hazel, Elizabeth, Melissa, Christina, what about you guys? Janet, did you finish? Ya dije la mía, teacher. ¿Cuántas eran? I'm sorry, okay, yes, yes, it's okay. <laughs> I remember. Fue la primera, ¿verdad? Creo, la segunda. No me... Yes, yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I apologize. Okay, thank you, thank you. My sister could be a great mother. No. <laughs> okay, excellent, excellent. Hey, wow, fantastic. Okay, this is sad. Okay, very good. We're going to stop here and we're going to continue. We're going to continue. And now we are going to open our books. Let's open the books again. And let's go to page number 12. On page number 12, you're going to have exercise number five or part number five. Part number five is a little difficult. Look, we are going to unscramble. Unscramble the words to form sentences. Vamos a ordenar las oraciones, perdón, las palabras para formar una oración. Okay, guys, got one, two, three, for five examples. Tenemos cinco ejemplos. Okay. Supongamos que nosotros tardamos un minuto por cada, por cada, por cada ejemplo. Un minuto. Entonces serían five minutes. Cinco minutos, people. Five minutes to finish this. This activity here. Five minutes. Go. Iniciemos. Can you excuse me a minute? Uh -huh. Ya vuelvo. I'll be back. I'll be back.
Did you guys finish? Not yet, teacher. Okay, not yet. It's okay, it's okay. Are you guys ready now?
Are you guys ready? Estamos listos? No, teacher. No? Nadie aún? Ok. It's ok. Who is not ready? Yo tengo algunas dudas en la tres y la cuatro. Las demás ya las hice. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Daniela. What about the rest? Are you almost done? Me falta la cuatro y la cinco. Okay. The most difficult. The most difficult ones. Okay, we're going to share or start sharing right now. If you have not finished yet, don't worry. Okay, don't worry. We're going to do it here together if you haven't finished. Number one, uh, a volunteer for number one, please. A volunteer, yes. Yes. Yeah, the first. Yes. Uh, will be. It would be a great opportunity to study abroad. It would be a great opportunity to study to study abroad. Okay. It would be a great opportunity to study abroad. Yes. It would be a great opportunity to study abroad. Okay. Sería una gran oportunidad para estudiar en el extranjero. Okay. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Number two, a volunteer. Yes. Sure. Okay, go. Uh, training will be benefic beneficial for our employees. Repeat, please. Uh, training will be beneficial for our employees. A training will, will be beneficial for our employees. Uh, could be beneficial for our employees. Okay. For, yes. Yes. for our employees. Yes, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. Let's continue with number three. A volunteer, please, with number That's three. It. 
Teacher, no sé si está buena la tres. Yo la tengo. Another benefit would be less hours working. Mm. Yo la tengo al revés. Yes. Igual yo. Uh, training for ¿eh? our employees could be beneficial. Ah, wait. No, wait, no, wait. será la otra. Yo la tengo. Um, que working less hours will be another benefit. Así la tengo yo, no sé. Will be what? Another benefit. Okay, I think both are correct. Ambas están bien. Tanto la que dijo Daniela como la que dijo Carla. Ambas están correctas. Uh, another benefit would be working less hours. Working less hours would be another benefit. Es lo mismo con lo que está mm -hmm. okay, It's the same thing. Let's continue. Thank you, thank you. Number four. A volunteer for number four. Hello. <clears throat> Yes. Number four. Nadie se atreve. No sé si está bien. Okay, no worry, try. Okay. Have weekend off will be a good option to a happy staff. No. <laughs> okay. But re repeat it, Cecilia, please. I'm going to write it down. La vamos a escribir. Sí, porque eso se me confundió, teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have a week now will be a good option to a happy staff. Mm, there you go. Look, we don't have more, more, more words here. We we'll a good option staff. Okay, a good, a good option. Happy, happy staff. <laughs> tiene mucho sentido, right? Yes. Nos falta tú. Weekends off would be a good. Option, option to have a happy staff. There you go. <laughs> yes. There you go. Let me make it this bigger. Así como quedaría, okay? Lo pueden ver? There you go. <laughs> yes, number five is easier. Weekends off would be a good option to have a happy staff. What about number five, guys? Number five. A volunteer, yes. I can do it. Mm -hmm. Maria. Maria could be of great help in the inventory department. Maria could be of great of great help in the inventory department. Yes. Okay. And that's how we finish. That's how we finish. Thank you very much, all of you, for participating in this activity. We have. We still have one more activity, and that one is number six. Aún nos queda la última, la última actividad. It says, prepare, this is individually, prepare a two-minute presentation about the benefits you would bring to a new company. 
if you had the opportunity to work in it, okay? Prepara una presentación de dos minutos acerca de los beneficios que tú traerías a una nueva compañía si tuvieras la chance de trabajar en ella. Okay, people? Do you understand the activity? Haremos una presentación. Okay. De nosotros explicando o expresando los beneficios que traeríamos a una compañía. Okay? Yes. You can use P the, the PowerPoint presentations. No problem, okay? Yes. Maybe, maybe we are not going to finish today. Don't worry, if, uh, uh, we're going to continue tomorrow, okay? Posiblemente no, no terminemos ese día, seguiremos el día mañana, okay? Así que iniciamos con la presentación. I'm going to give you um, from six to eight minutes, de seis a, a ocho minutos para poder hacerla. Let's work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to take attendance, okay? In that way we don't we don't get any interruptions or interferences later on. Abel Elison was not here today. Yes. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present. Thank you. Palmore Alexander Marroquín. 
present teacher. Thank you very much. Carlos Emilio Coto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Present teacher. Yes. Uh, Cecia Noemi Ramos. Present teacher. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present teacher. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa Mengíbar. Uh, Julissa Yamilet Villalta Villalta. Present teacher. Carla Daniela Molina Cruz. Present. Yes. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Carla Lorena Mendoza Guevara. Present. Yes. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Perez. Present. Present. Mario, yes, Mario Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexander. Melissa Esther Orellana. Present. Mirna Yanez Ángel de Castro. Present teacher. Roberto Emilio González Cruz. Present teacher. Yes, Santos Cristina Cerritos de Ruiz. Present teacher. Víctor Noé Bonilla. Thank you, Hazel, in the chat. Present. Yes, Victor, excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, are you guys ready? No. No, not yet, okay. Hmm, I don't know what else can write, so I can do it with all I have now. Okay, maybe maybe your your classmates can get some ideas. Go ahead, share. Okay, I would be a great help to serve difficult clients due to my experience. In mm -hmm. addition, it would be a good option since I can speak a little English, and with that, I am able to attend to all the clients who find it difficult to speak Spanish. It could be a great help rearranging the furniture because I like a lot to do that. Yeah, that's okay. all I have. It's okay. It's more than enough. Thank you very much for that, for sharing. Thank you. I didn't mention who is going to stay today. Abigail Elizabeth Flores Hernandez. Hello. Hello, teacher. Aún preparo la presentación. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Sorry. Es para decirle que usted se queda ahora. Es su turno este día. Ay, ok. <laughs> Yay. That's a good reaction. Ok. Let's, let's continue. ¿Quién más está listo? Who else is ready? Teacher, uh, yo. Yes, Palmore. Uh, with the experience as read in the industrial process, we will contribute to the continuous improvement of process generating more efficient and sustainable production plants. Okay, okay. There are many things you can do. Excellent, excellent. Uh, thank you, Valmore, for your participation. Let's continue. Another person that finished or that has already finished. No, I don't know. Okay, if you finish, please share. Share. Go ahead. Um, I I will be a great employee in a company because. I have a lot of experience to monitoring financial of projects. Okay, okay, all right. 
Excellent, Victor. Very much. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for, for sharing. Uh, let's continue. Sigamos. Uh, another volunteer. Yo, teacher. Okay, Carla. Thank you, Carla. Thank you very much. If I could join the company, I would be a good element for the marketing area. The company would have a creative piece. The company will also have personnel with good values. All right, all right. A lot of good things, huh? <laughs> very good, very good, uh, Carla. For Thank you for sharing. Let's continue. People, if you finish, please share. Okay, teacher, for Joe. Okay, Carlos, thank you, Carlos. The benefits to bring to a company is to know the errors in a more timely manner with the use of new tools uh, to detect the most common faults in the manufacturing process and determine an immediate solution to correct errors. And test device before putting them on sale. And uh, so avoid avoiding many warranties and returns. Okay, okay. You mentioned a lot of things. Excellent, Carlos. Thank you very much for sharing your activity. Let's continue, people. Continue, please. I'm here. I'm listening. I'm listening. Hi. Okay, Mario, yes. <clears throat> My name is Mario. I have 25 years experience as a computer technician. I also have experience in personal management. I have experience in the administration and development of a small and medium electrical project. So I have experience in design and construction computer network, certification of the same, design of computer set system, mobile application. Uh, currently I study English to give me experience uh, A plus. Okay. Mario, excellent Mario. Thank you very much for sharing. Well done. Let's continue, guys. Another person. People, go ahead, go ahead. Compartamos. Okay, elegimos entonces. Carlos Coto, did you finish? Sorry, teacher. Uh, not ready. Okay, you're not ready. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. ¿Quién está listo? Who is ready? Me, me, me. Oh, okay. Cecia, thank you, Cecia. Okay. I think it's it's a great opportunity to increase my professional skills. I will be a great asset in the company because I have experience in sales and also as a manager. I help others with the process. I am very responsible. And now I study English in English Corporativo. I can speak a little English, but I am a faster learner. Fast learner. Fast learner. Fast learner. Wow, excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. That's a good one. Thank you very much for that one. Yes, yes. Fantastic, fantastic. Impressive. Let's continue. We still have the chance to, to hear one more person. So one more person. This is the last one. Yes. The last one, the last one. A volunteer, please. No, we don't have a last one. Okay, it's it's okay, it's okay. Now, people, we have we have practically finished because we don't have enough more time or yeah, pretty much we don't have more time. Uh, do you have any questions? Alguna pregunta, duda que tengan? No? We're good? Okay. 
Very, very easy topics. Muy, muy sencillo los temas. Muy bien, muy bien. Vamos bien, vamos bien. Ok. Uh, bueno, tengo una, ma, nada más que hacer. People, gracias, gracias a todos por estar acá, por conectarse, por hacer el esfuerzo. Sé que, sé que es difícil el cansancio, todo se acumula, entonces. Uh, it's, it's difficult. But thank you guys. Gracias, gracias. I really, 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 really appreciate your efforts. Okay, aprecio thank mucho you, tu esfuerzo. Teacher. So, good night, thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you tomorrow, good night. Que descansen. Vamos a dormir. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, tomorrow. Vamos a dormir. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Sleeping. <laughs> Good night, Cristina. Descanse. Give us a moment, Elizabeth. No problem, okay, bye. <laughs> Elizabeth, hi, oh, I see. Yes, hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? How do you feel? Cansada? Yes, yeah, teacher. Hello. <laughs> a lot, a lot. It's okay. okay. Este, do you have Do you have any questions? Alguna pregunta o duda del tema de ahora o el de ayer o anteriores temas? Pues, por el momento no, mm -hmm. porque es como una retroalimentación de lo que ya hemos venido viendo. Exactly. Por exactly. lo menos en el módulo anterior vimos también lo de lo de good y de wood. Sí. wood, ajá. Y también incluso en algún momento hicimos un párrafo donde incluíamos las dos palabras. Uh -huh. Así que creo que algunos compañeros ya tenían las oraciones. <risa> Ahora cuando las pidió ya las habían hecho. <risa> okay. ok, ya veo que sí. Ok, uh -huh. Sí, sí, hemos iniciado bastante sencillo. El tema de ayer y el de ahora son bastante fáciles. Bueno, para ustedes, ¿verdad? Para ustedes porque ya veo que tienen mucho conocimiento y manejan muy bien muchos temas. Y su inglés no es, no es muy básico, es bastante bueno. Entonces, por eso que el tema es un poco, un poco sencillo. Okay. Uh, veré cómo los, los, los desafío un poquito más con, con los temas, pero con con palabras más, más, más rebuscadas, sí. para, poder, para poder aprender un poquito más. Sí, sí. Ok. Uh, entonces, ¿no tiene ninguna pregunta? No. <risa> okay. Como le digo, por el momento no tengo ninguna pregunta. Probablemente más adelante los temas se vuelvan más complejos y ahí ya sí Probablemente se vuelvan, ajá, tengamos ajá. más dudas. Sí, sí, entiendo un poco más complejo. Y posiblemente sí, eso sea que sea un poco más complejo, ¿ok? Y esperemos que sea para que haya mucho más, más, uh, ¿cómo se llama? Aprendizaje, que es lo más sí. importante. Ok, muy sí, bien. puede haber más aprendizaje, pero igual este, el nivel de, de dificultad creo que entre cada módulo también se va a como un nivel un poquito más alto. Y sí. creo que por lo menos Bastantes compañeros creo que hablan bastante bien el inglés y este, pueden entender bastante bien. Puede ser que algunos nos quedemos un poquito más atrás que ellos, porque si sí, algunos no me dejarán mentir que sí pueden bastante, como el, el ejemplo de, de Carlita y así, en las dos creo que pueden bastante. Entonces, pues algunos no, no estamos a ese nivel, pero igual este, pero poco, poco, estamos poco. aquí tratando, sí, tratando de salir. Le, algo similar, me pasó a mí un poco, un, poco un, un caso similar en la universidad hace mucho tiempo desde unos ocho años atrás en la universidad tenía un amigo que se llamaba Douglas que se llama Douglas más bien y este cipote iba en moto 
en una moto y va con el inglés y va rapidísimo aprendiendo y yo iba en bicicleta despacito okay. pero el punto, el punto es acá seguir okay. sí. pueda que ellos tengan un poquito más de, de fluidez de, de más conocimiento de algunas palabras de algunos temas pero el punto no es que no es que vamos a quedar estancados ahí y decirle oh ellos pueden más que mí no el punto es verdad seguir un poquito poco a sí. poco avanzando a, su, a nuestro paso ok y así verás que, que poco a poco va a ir avanzando. Sí. sí, así es. Bueno, sobre todo también porque en mi caso ahorita sí estoy con, con días un poquitito complicados en el trabajo por las actividades que hay que sacar, pero sí este, llega un momento en que hay más espacio y ya uno puede poner más en práctica todas estas cosas. Uh -huh. Dedicar un momento más también a lo de las tareas, las actividades, a la clase poder practicar antes de, pero si sí, hay días que uno está cansado, por lo menos ahora, si sí, es que me estaba durmiendo, <ríe> creo que ni antes de las ocho ya tenía un gran sueño, antes de las nueve no se diga, esto que me fui a lavar la cara y todo, pero sí, de por si sí ya estuviera dormida, si no, no me hubiera tocado ahora, <ríe> por eso mi, mi descontento cuando me dijeron que ahora me tocaba, <ríe> demasiado notorio diría yo. Yo se decía, que no me toque ahora, que no me toque ahora. Me toque ahora. Sí, sí pasaba, lastimosamente lo soy de, la, de las primeras, no la segunda de la lista. La segunda de la lista, así es, así es. Sí, en uno de los anteriores he sido la primera, así que por lo menos ahora. Por, por lo menos el segundo día, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, ya. Muy bien, excelente. Uh, bueno, uh, no sé si tiene alguna sugerencia de alguna actividad que le gustaría que agregáramos. Uh, o de alguna cosa que quiere que cambiemos, que mejoremos, que vamos a pulir más una actividad, no sé. Mm, creo que ahorita vamos bastante bien. Okay. He visto que, que sí, este, es poco lo que vamos a poder hablar en, en español en, en, en la clase, mm. pero hasta cierto punto eso es bueno también porque nosotros nos vamos familiarizando con, con toda la pronunciación, porque también eso tiene que ver que las pronunciaciones a veces son diferentes. Sí, sí. Y también, este, por lo menos, siento que habla muy rápido. Sorry. Sí, la, siento trato, que habla muy rápido. Trato de hablar, de hablar más lento, pero realmente no sé por qué es que sucede. Que... Sí, ya, ya le fluye natural. Y hasta cierto punto también, no. A veces cuando lo, cuando lo practica demasiado, no sé si da clases con, de eso, pero... Al oh. practicarlo es como fluye natural, es un, un ambiente que ya lo que es propicio, ya lo crea, cree suyo, entonces el día pasa así es el, más difícil. De lunes a viernes todo el día pasa con el inglés. Trabajo en una escuela en la mañana, en inglés. Trabajo en la, en la tarde en una academia, en inglés. Trabajo acá en inglés. Sí, me imagino que por eso es que ya es, fluye natural, así. <ríe> en cambio, y nosotros no, nosotros sí. tiene que hacer como los niños de kinder. Despacio. Sí, veré cómo le puedo disminuir un poco le, a la, 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 la rapidez, ¿ok? Incluir un poquito más de español, porque a veces se me olvida, como le comento, yo estoy acostumbrado a hablar solamente en inglés, más que todo en la academia que trabajo y en la y, y acá, porque uh -huh. anteriormente tuve, tuve nivel intermedio, entonces en, en ese no se habla, no, no hablamos español y, y pues me acostumbro siempre en eso, ¿no? se me olvida que. Sí, no, nosotros vamos, estamos en principiantes. Pero es el último módulo, ¿eh? Es eso sí, bien. eso sí, pero es lo, creo que nos venían mal acostumbrando hasta cierto punto, porque el, en el 5 hablábamos bastante español, incluso a veces las respuestas se las decíamos en parte así en inglés y después ya nos quedábamos en español, las completaban algunos y entonces sí, el teacher decía en inglés, y yo me todo eso, pero en inglés, entonces sí, creo que. Eso es lo que quizás nos hace falta bastante, familiarizarnos con el idioma. Quizás es una buena idea que sigamos así con este mismo, mismo, mismo trayecto, porque el siguiente módulo, perdón, el siguiente nivel es más que todo esto, mira, hablar, hablar bastante. Sí. Se habla mucho y, uh, y pues creo que ya sería un poco, un poco, un, un pecado más bien, como decimos, ¿verdad? Hablar, hablar español. Sí, ajá, es como le decía, que a cierto punto nos favorece familiarizarnos con eso, porque... 
ya de aquí adelante ya no va a ser más fácil, va a ser más difícil cada día. Así es. Cada módulo va a ser también más difícil. Pero sí, está bueno, me parece bien. Ok. No creo que por el momento podamos agregar algo más porque como se va distribuyendo la clase está bastante bien. Ok, muy bien, muy bien. Excelente, excelente. Thank you very much. Ok. Hoy oh, sí, mire, el tiempo está acabado. Acabaron los 10. Acabaron, acabar, mire, está, está las 10 y 10. Ok. Ajá. No le quito, ok, no le quito más tiempo. Ningún segundo más. Ok, un segundo. Descansa mucho, Elizabeth. Ok, descansa. Ok, teacher. Cuídense. Feliz noche. Okay. Hasta Bye. mañana. Bye.